So often in yoga, we are drawn to the practices that just mirror our lives. So if you're a very busy body through the whole day and your brain has a tendency to just be fast, 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 and you like type A, you move, you move, you move, you move, you're gonna be drawn to vinyasa flows because it's more mirroring your personality. But I challenge you to actually go opposite, right? Go to a restorative, go to a yin, go to a deep stretch. Just try to just go opposite of what your tendency are and vice versa. If your tendency is to just go more slow and want to hold poses or during the day you don't move as much and that's more your tendency because it's where you're comfortable, then go to a vinyasa flow. That's my recommendation for you. Now, right now, what we're going to do is a very short practice that just helps you center and it's geared towards more restorative poses. So take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. And inhale, bring your shoulders up to your ears. Hold your breath. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and glide them down. And again, inhale, shoulders up. Hold breath, squeeze back. Exhale, slide down. One more time, inhale up. Squeeze back, exhale, slide down. And pause here. Then taking a block, Oops. I should be more prepared, but hey, shit happens, right? Okay, so putting the blocks in front of you so that when you inhale and bring your arms up, you're gonna fold forward and relax your head on a block if you cannot reach all the way down on the floor. So you can put two blocks as well, just bring your head down. The whole purpose of this is not to struggle and is to be able to stay in that pose for a few breaths. So wherever you're at, just go ahead and do that. So for me right now, even going the shorter side on the block, it's too much, so I'm gonna put it higher and hold here. So breathe, feeling your back, filling up with breath. We're gonna stay here for two more really deep inhales. And slowly go ahead and roll up. Bring your shoulders back. We're gonna go one more time. Inhale, shoulders up. Hold breath, squeeze back. Exhale, glide down. And again, inhale up. Squeeze back, exhale, glide down. And again, inhaling arms up. Exhale, reaching forward, and we're gonna fold down again, and then see if you can go a notch lower. Extending arms forward, let's take three deep breaths right here. And slowly rolling up. And go ahead and extend your legs forward in front of you. So you are going to, if you have a bolster, then go ahead and grab a bolster. And if not, you can grab a blanket and simply just take the blanket and fold it. So you can lay down on it. So it will kind of like look like a burrito. So in the purpose of this, I'm gonna use a bolster because I have a bolster. So blocks on each side. Bolster to the back or blanket. Keep your butt down. Sole of the feet together. Blocks on each side to support your knees. Now lay back down. Open your arms out. 
Letting those arms be back. Deep breath. Letting that belly expand up. As you're breathing in, just letting those shoulders just really get down, down towards the floor. You can even bend your arms at the elbows if you want to, if that helps you. So the whole purpose of this is actually to counteract what you just did, which is a folded forward. So one more. So you can stay here as long as you want, but for the purpose of this video, you're gonna press your hands down, bring your chin to your chest, press up. Extend your legs forward, move the blocks out, and move the bolster or the blanket out of the way. Lay back down, pull your knees to your chest, open your arms out, take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, just bring your knees all the way to the right, looking out to your left. So you can bend your arms at the elbows if it feels like your shoulders are really tight and that shoulder blade cannot reach down. Breathing in, knowing that the more you keep your knees towards your chest, the more of an upper back twist you are going to get. If your knees are centered to your hip bones, it's affecting the whole spine. And if you pull them further down, then it's more of your low back. So just whatever you want it to be. Two more breath. And then bringing knees back center, go opposite side. Same thing, breathing here, three deep breaths. Maybe using your hand to pull your knees together a little more, twisting a little deeper. Bring your knees back center, you're gonna pull your knees in. And as you exhale, Roll up. Coming back up, just taking deep breaths, noticing where you are, how you feel, and then rotate your neck to the right. And then switch. Bring it back, center, inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, twisting towards your left or right knee, keeping shoulders together. Inhale and lift spine. Exhale, twisting, pausing here within the twist. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, going opposite side. Inhaling, arms up again. Exhale, gathering hands to pray up those. Pressing their hands firmly against one another so you can connect the meridians, connecting the hemispheres of your brain and pressing your thumbs against that heart center. Focusing on expanding 
your belly out and dropping your breath all the way down to tailbone. Bringing your right hand onto your belly, connecting to the first, second, and third chakra, letting your thumbs come up and maybe just press right above your belly button. Taking your left hand to your heart. Connecting the belly and the heart together, the first, second, and third chakra to the fourth chakra. And just noticing if you feel your breath is getting stuck anywhere. If you have more difficulty dropping the breath down, can you feel the connection between both hands? And then in that left hand, come and pressing your fingers gently against your third eye. And just again connecting to both hands. Letting your breath first drop in down to the belly. Connecting to the third eye, the point of manifestation and intention. But without connection to your roots, your creativity, your sexuality, everything gets blocked. There's no groundedness and without groundedness, if you live too much up into the upper chakras, the upper energy points of your head, there would be no authenticity, no groundedness. So it's important to connect everything, to not just have one area more open than others. And we take the arms above, prayer pose above the head, connecting up to the heavens, to what's above you and bigger than us. Tuning into the crown chakra, but keeping also the connection to the first, second, and third, and fourth. Let us not forget the fifth, which is the throat. Connecting into the throat chakra. And I inhale. And as you exhale, just making a sound through the throat. So inhale together. And exhale. Oh. And again, inhale. Exhale, oh. and inhaling arms up, reaching up and above, and gliding through the meridians down to your heart chakra. And inhaling through Om. Um. Feeling a complete and total connection to the vibration of the sound, the primordial, primordial sounds of the earth. Om. Om. Inhale again. Then um. one last time together, inhale. Thumbs up to the third eye to close the practice.